Skid Row Trash here. Just another video. This one's for how to add new enemies into the game. I'm going to go uh, just for this one. I'm going to do a new project. I was going to call it enemies just for this one. Okay, so for a new enemy that you fight in the fights and all that sort of stuff. So let's look at... Okay, go to Tools, uh, Database, and you'll want to go to Enemies. So we have some in here already. Uh, but if you want to add a brand new one on the bottom, since you can't just click here, you got to change maximum. So right now it's at 30. Put it to whatever you want. doesn't really matter. So now let's just leave an extra space. We're going to put a new enemy in here. Call it Thug. So if you click in Graphic, you can choose one of the existing graphics here already to bring it in. Say we want it to look like this, but say you want your own brand new guy that you made to bring in here. That's uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's just go up and put this to none for now. Alright, so let's get a guy. I have this guy here, this ugly looking, disgusting looking guy. I want to bring him into the thing, so I'm going to just... Cut him out. Select everything. It's different in your program, I'm sure. In this one, that's how I do it. So I have this guy now, and I'm going to make make him as a brand new image because that's how you want to do it. You want to also do it with a transparent background as well, or you'll have giant blocks showing in your game. So we have him made. Let's give it a new name, and I'm going to put it into my enemy, I'm going to put it into my work folder for now, game stuff. So I call it thug. And make sure it's .png, that means you can use transparent backgrounds and stuff like that, because JPEGs can't handle it. So, turn off compression, there we go. Anyway, so now I have this guy. He's his own little guy. Let's go find it. Here's my little work folder game stuff. So, enemy, oh here he is here, thug. So we want him in the game. So what you want to do is load your game, cut the, cra the, ca the graphic, cut it out, go into your game, into graphics, and you're going to want to find battlers. You're going to want to pop it in there. Those are where you put the guys for battling. All right. So now let's see if it picks it up. Database, is it in here? There he is, thug right at the top. Holy shit, he's huge though. So that's another thing you got to worry about is the size of your guy, because that's how he's going to appear right now, just a fat stomach with part of a mace. So you're going to want to make sure you have it the right size as well. Let's just find out what a big enemy is, so we can match it up. I'm just going to the tools, going into the battlers. These are where all your... So here's our guy again. You can quickly go through and check out the different creatures and stuff in here. So wait, a dragon. That must be big. Let's see how big that is. Put it in there. Close that. Okay. So I'm back into my work folder. This is where I work on the images. So this one is 366 by 274. So we're just going to want to go back into our enemies, graphics, battlers again. So you don't have to move it out of here now. We'll just edit it right in here. So I use GIMP again, awesome free program. Here's our guy. Let's shrink him down nice and small. There he goes. He's within the range now. He's 176 wide, 222 tall. Let's make him a little tinier. 134 wide, 169 tall. That sounds good. Okay. So, 
You want to make them small to begin with or you'll lose detail, but this doesn't matter for the purpose of this. So I'm going to... Oh, I just have to... I just have to recut this guy out. There he is down there. Edit. Cut. I'm just going to resave this over the previous image so that it's all in the same area. That was enemies, graphics, battlers, thug. There we go. So he's a lot smaller now. Let's see how he is in the game. Database, thug. There's our little thug right there. And if you want, you can play around with the colors down the bottom. You can actually give the recolor to anything like this. Works for them all, really. You want different colored guys. Anyways, here he is. There's our guy. I'm just going to leave these stats for now. So he's now an enemy in the game. We're going to want to add, add him to troops. So these are the guys you actually fight. So we're going to again add the maximum because there's no more room. This is the name of our new troops. We're going to call it Thug. Thugs. And we're going to, these are our enemies. Our Thug is down here. We're going to add a couple of them. And you can move where they are and where they appear. That's how we're going to do it. Hit apply. Now you have this as a battle group you can fight against in your game. As you can see with battle tests, we'll just click it. Thug emerge. See, there's three thugs. It's where you can battle your thugs and all that shit. So, there we go, okay? That's good for that. So that's how you add new enemies and then add them into groups. You can also put other guys in here too. You can have this guy hang out with them as well. Alright, I hope that helps for adding new enemies. See ya.